Beautiful. Um, all right, so this is kind of more for the drone itself, but the the um, the RC that comes with all of the uh, the Mavic 3 Enterprise series of drones is better than than what we've used in the past. And uh, just what kind of features, if if those people that are moving from say a Phantom or something else into the Mavic 3 series, can they expect from the uh, from the Enterprise version of the controller? Yeah, so the Enterprise controller has, uh, I, I think it's 2000 nits peak nit brightness. Um, so you're gonna have a really bright screen out there, something that's most likely brighter than any iPhone or iPad. You're also not gonna have as, nearly as many overheating problems as some of those devices are, especially when you're in the summer in the Midwest, you're getting a lot of heat. You're also not getting phone calls on that device, which makes a big difference, or notifications. Um, it's charges via USB-C super fast. On the very bottom of the controller, it's got uh, mini HDMI out. So if you are looking to present to an audience, it's just hardwired in, super easy. Um, and it's got o DJI O3 Enterprise, so the typical range that we're looking at. Honestly, nothing too special to talk about here other than if you include the price of what the Phantom 4 multispectral cost, the controller, and then buying an iPad for the drone, uh, this saves a lot of money. Uh, the only question that I would have is that when you're capturing multispectral data, because obviously this uh, this picture, it doesn't have anything on the screen. It, we don't have anywhere in this presentation that we're showing like the app itself and, and where you would make these changes. But is are you basically, when you said you can capture just multispectral or just RGB data or both, is that always going to be, is, is it pretty present where you would cap choose to capture that data? And is it like split screen when you're capturing both? Yeah, so you can do the side-by-side -side mode much like thermal for people that are flying thermal uh, payloads. And that's gonna be a live NDVI comparing near infrared and the red bands as well as just the visual. Um, and then also you can turn on the camera settings. So just like normal camera settings in the DJI Pilot 2 app. Uh, you can change what bands that you're going to be capturing. And then if you're planning missions within Pilot 2, it's you'll just select if you want to capture, apologies, capture multispectral or capture multispectral plus visual or just visual. So it's pretty obvious whether you're planning a mission or you're flying where to turn things on and off.